Well, welcome back. Italian tenor Andrea Bocelli is currently on his holiday tour tonight. He'll be performing at a sold out Madison Square Garden concert. Joining me right now is his wife, the wife of Andrea Bocelli, who has performed with him. And she is also the Andrea Bocelli Foundation vice president. Veronica Berti Bocelli is here. Veronica, welcome. Thank you very much for having me Thank here. Thank you for being here. Uh, I know you were sold out last night, and you've got another sold out situation tonight at Madison Square Garden. How is it going? How's Andrea's holiday concert? Luckily, it's back in full voice, which is the way we need him now, you know, to in the United States, as this country has always delivered a lot of affection, and we, he really wants to give back the best of his performance. So luckily, he's back. He is so fantastic, and that's really what I wanted to ask you. How is he feeling? The doctor told him that it was dangerous to sing, and you did postpone exactly. some concerts. Yes, luckily it's back. So we did yesterday a beautiful concert. Tonight uh, we're going to be there again with a little surprise more. And then we play in Miami, Boston, that is one of the ones that has been rescheduled and back home for Christmas. Fantastic. Veronica, the Andrea Bocelli Foundation celebrating its 12th anniversary now. You've been at this for so long. Tell us more about the foundation, where the money goes. And I know you're very involved with children. Yes, we are very involved with children, and we are here in the United States now, of course, for concerts, but we've been honored to be invited at the United Nations to represent and explain and speak about the project that we have in this moment active. We have many projects, but the two one we are focused is uh, Voices Off, which are a choir that have been born in particular dangerous and, uh, you know, p places in need, I will say. The first one has been Haiti, then the second in Italy during the earthquake. And now we're moving to the next year, we're moving to Africa for this project. And the second one is the Global Lab, which is a, a project, a vocational project dedicated to the kids from 19 to 25. Because in this moment, the industrialization brings a lot of education, not necessarily they give you the right um, path. I mean, they don't give you the right way and they don't explain and don't give the chance to the kids to know what they want to do in the future. So helping them in, to find the right way, it's very important in early stage. Well, thanks for all you did with the earthquake in Italy. That was incredible, and you were able to raise so much money for that. Do these things resonate when you're talking about coming to the aid of these big uh, issues? Uh, this is resonating with people. How have you been able to raise this money? Um, most of the funds comes from your amazing country. Mm -hmm. I mean, United States has always been so ahead in terms of uh, giving back, and we are learning a lot, also as Italian. But Italy is moving ahead and is, you know, now open up with the heart and uh, supporting a lot more. Especially when we had the project for the, you know, unfortunately the earthquake in my country. I am from Marche, which is the region that has been hit the most, and we have now there three schools that we were very proudly say, we can say we did it in 150 days, so a very short time, which gives to the people the, the I would say, the confidence on trusting the foundation, right. which is important. Before you have to, you know, fulfill that, and then people will trust you. How does Andrea prepare for a concert? He's so incredible, and I know it's 30 years as a global icon. What does he do to prepare his voice before a concert like this? He's the most dedicated person I ever seen. Yeah. You don't become the number one in your field if it's not because of that. He very he respects so much every person he has in front. Mm. If, if he has to perform at the Madison Square Garden in front of 19,000 people, or he's performing in the kindergarten in front of five kids, yeah. the preparation will be the same. He has the same respect for that. And you know, he does the life of an athlete. No speaking during the day, eating properly, never drink, never smoke in his life, and just really do the life that to take care about his voice. So when he has a concert at night, he won't speak all day? No, won't speak all day wow. until he warm up the voice. Cause and then do you have, like, does he do, I don't know, honey and stuff? What, what are the oh, tricks? Oh, he, he tries every trick possible that people will advise. He I takes every advice possible. He's so incredible. Veronica, it's so nice to have you this morning, and I so appreciate your leadership and all that you're doing. I hope you'll send Andrea our best regards uh, to oh. get better soon. As we go to break, would you, you, you sing with him all the time. As we go to break, would you uh, belt out a little tune for us? I, let me clarify. I'm not a singer. I'm Andrea's wife. It doesn't need, necessarily mean I have a good voice. But, um, oh, my God. Thinking thank about you, Andrea. That. Uh, thank you, Veronica Berti Bocelli. Let's hear it. Let's say that we have a very beautiful song that we stole from your country, which is, I'll be home for Christmas. And that's what we hope for us. Oh, thank you so much. Veronica Berti Bocelli joining us. We'll be right back. Merry thank Christmas. You, 